They sucked his brains out. Starship Troopers Terran Command is a new real-time strategy game made by Sliverine Games. Being set in the Starship Troopers universe, it utilises much of the same sly, satirical humour as the movies. It's pretty amusing, though unfortunately it's the only unique aspect of what is actually a really incredibly basic RTS. Gameplay-wise, there's very little that will take you by surprise here. The basic movement, base building and skirmishing is near identical to many older games in the genre, and in fact has regressed quite a bit in many areas. The base building is barely even a feature. There are pre-selected pads that you can build on to give you access to a couple more unit types, but there's no tactic to how to manage your resources. You're just given everything. You can't even demolish buildings to reassign those resources. The units themselves are what you'd expect. Basic riflemen, rockets, engineers, upgraded rifles and mechs later on. They all have their place in combat and you'll need to have a good mix to avoid being deficient in one area. Despite its simplicity and lack of true innovation, this title still offers some tactical depth, line of sight and height elevation being the most important, though it's not particularly impressive because nothing feels like it has any weight or impact in the world. It has the true line of sight firing but there's no splash damage from anything, they aren't real projectiles. If you fire a rocket at an enemy right next to a hive, the damage won't affect the hive unless you attack it directly, and the same goes for bullets. There's nothing destructible about the environment either. Units can be upgraded with one special ability, but there's no true passive upgrades. It's all a bit lame, honestly. If you told me this game came out in 2006, I would absolutely believe you. There are other issues too. Classic problems like bad pathing, weird glitches and units not following orders. Despite the importance of line of sight, units constantly bunch up, rarely prioritise targets and the attack move button seems to just be broken, activating only on the second click most of the time. It's incredibly irritating considering how important that function is against enemies who are mostly trying to get into melee range. Graphically it's serviceable, the set design is fine, as is the layout of most maps. Problem is, there is little variation, it's the same desert environment over and over, broken up by the odd underground or city area. It's recognisably Starship Troopers in the overall design with some very good animations, especially for the bugs. Though again it has problems here too with the combat animations for the soldiers looking very stilted as they go in and out of firing. But there is one big big problem with this game overall and that is the complete lack of content. 15-ish hours of a story campaign, a couple of challenge maps and that's it. No skirmish, no multiplayer. Even the options menu is lacking, the graphic settings have been boiled down to just a single menu. There's just not enough here, even in terms of hotkeys it's lacking. I couldn't find a select all units command, you can't group units, you simply have very little control outside of pointing and clicking. I do wonder what the point in making this game was. This series hasn't been relevant in a long long time, and anyway it makes you wonder whether it runs counter to the film's message that brainless fascistic militarism is bad. Well, I suppose if the film can have fun action alongside that message, this can, and there are a few moments where it benefits from being set in this universe. There's one standout mission set in a prison that does some excellent world building. You first need to recapture a prisoner who's been condemned for trying to unionise. They're going to be executed on live TV, so you defend the area while waiting for that to happen, but a riot breaks out while you're doing it, and you end up using lethal force on them all even the unarmed ones, and it just sums up this world perfectly, asking what the point of this whole thing is, who you're really fighting for. There are a few little moments like this in both gameplay and dialogue, but I'm not convinced it's enough of a unique selling point. Overall this game is really really lacking, and verges on the boring on many occasions. Tactically it's got even less going on than Halo Wars, but if you are looking for that kind of basic, mostly brainless RTS setup to just zone out to, it is serviceable, but honestly the lack of content is a little insulting. Truly innovationless and not something I can recommend at full price. This is about $10 worth of game at best. Thanks for watching, check out my most recent video essays where I go in depth on Dead Space and Modern Warfare 3 if you like that sort of thing, and subscribe for more reviews. Peace.